with Battle Box, we are finally pros. That's right, we've upgraded to pro status and we are going to unlock the Mission 42 tracking Battle Box for August 2018. Uh, I am super excited for this one because we did get the upgrade. I cannot tell you what is in it. My wife has not told me and all of these are secrets. So, you find out as I find out. Ooh, would you look at that? Look, I got batteries. You always use batteries. Triple A's. <laughs> These just get more and more expensive. Look at that. Pro comes with batteries. Uh, sit rep, step by step. Tracking began with a man's need for food and skill for tracking in many ways. Determined for survival. What else we got here? We got uh, fire tags. Reflective multi-directional 3D trail markers. These look pretty cool. Obviously reflective. They're blinding me already. Nice orange. Find those anywhere. A write and see all weather notebook. You can never have too many of these things. I used to use these in the army all the time. Uh, they're really great in the rain. You just write on it with a pencil. Regular pencil. Um, no need for that special pen that NASA invented that writes in zero gravity. You know, right there. Nice uh, grid, so you can you can actually use the grid for drawing terrain. Those are fantastic to have on your pack. Just a nice little something to write on, especially when it's raining and you need to uh, remember something that you just know you're not going to remember. We have here a. 520 HL signal illuminator. I think we got another flashlight, ladies and gents. Not just any flashlight, a headlamp. <laughs> Must be what the batteries were for. Which is good, because if I remember correctly, my uh, welcome battle box did not include a battery. <laughs> and to frantically search the house for one. Oh yeah, buddy, look at that. That looks fantastic. I really like the color on that. It's kind of like a earthy brown, little green button. You can't miss that in the middle of the night. It's got a little bit of a lean to it. You can tilt it forward, adjustable strap. It's got a little grippy on the inside so it won't slip on your head. That's really nice. That is really nice. Um, can we cut for just a minute? I want to put some batteries in this. Okay, we're back. Uh, we got our batteries into this guy, popped open the uh, uh, lid here. It's got just a little tab. It should be a lot easier than it is right now, of course. Um, only takes three of these AAAs, which is cool. Um, got a nice little spare for later. Uh, it's always nice having a spare. Be better if you had a couple more spares, but I can't complain because I got batteries in my battle box. <laughs> I didn't have to go buy my own. This is really cool. I did test it just a second ago. Uh, we have like four or five modes here. We got big old bright night green. Great for the nighttime. I'm going to do lights. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. You can see just everything here. This is fantastic right there. Uh, we got. A nice white light. We have our night red light. These are really good for reading maps at night. Um, most maps are designed so that you can read it under a red light. Uh, we have all three modes and back to dark. That is really cool. All right, we have the learn and live cards, animal tracking. Looks like we have some uh, different species like raccoon, moose, deer. I'm sure elk is in there somewhere. Uh, it's a nice little flip card. It's got the tab in there so it holds them all together. Something you can slow, 
kind of throw in your pocket and if you see something interesting you think hey I wonder what that is you probably check it out right there oh man there's so much in this box I can't even I'm so excited what is this here wazoo's tracking field kit <laughs> all right oh slap bracelet <laughs> look at that it's fashionable it's all camo it's fantastic Uh, looks like Wazoo Survival Gear. Looks like you get a little uh, ruler in inches and metric right there. Um, looks like it comes with an Animal Tracks bandana designed and illustrated by industry experts. Wearable field ruler for measuring and photographing tracks. There you go. So you can see a size reference while you are out in the woods. Genius. I should probably read stuff before I start talking about it. This is awesome. You have a visual representation of many tracks here in the U.S. I'm sure abroad as well. There may be some. It's like Gray Fox, Bobcat. What do we got here? Striped Skunk. Yeah, don't follow those. I'm sure that would be a smelly situation. Uh, Eastern Gray Squirrel. There's tons of those around here. Deer Mouse. Let's see, what is this big guy? American Beaver. So all sorts of tracks you got there. That's really handy, you know? This is really cool. I like having things that are both practical and stylish. So that's definitely going in the kit. But I mostly like it because it keeps this whole thing together. Nice, tight little bundle. And that's a tracking field kit. Ooh, what to do next? What to do next? I've been looking at this Barska. Looks like a pair of binos, it is. Uh, I'm going to do that. Comes with a big old manual. Thanks, Barska. Thanks, Battlebox. A nice tight little package. Fits right in your cargo pocket. Uh, got a little belt loop. You can do that. That's probably what I would do. I tend to have the Batman belt everywhere I go. I'm getting head nods. Yep. Everywhere he goes. Ooh, those are nice. Look at those. Nice compact little 8x21s. Alright. Right in the palm of your hand. Still. Extended and everything. A little lanyard there. I completely spaced on what you call it. Nice clear lenses. I can see the kitchen from here. What's cooking? And uh, that's a very nice nylon uh, pouch there. Uh, you probably get that rough and dirty and scraped up. Uh, drag it over a few rocks when you're climbing up into your hide. Maybe your tree bark scratches that up, but that looks pretty good. Great for spotting things that are far away. Looks like we got the Animal Tracks casting kit. Hey, that's pretty cool. You run upon something, you don't know what it is, you can't identify it. You, you want to make a negative of it, but you don't want to be hauling the whole forensics kit out of the field. Looks like North American Animal Tracks has provided us with not only an instruction manual on how to and what to cast, but an entire list on the back of what tracks you might be finding. And of course some plaster for the actual cast. Probably just not, just a little bit of water goes a long way. Put some of this plaster in there and uh, let it set. Like quick creek in a field. A little more closely, there you go, Animal Tracks casting kit. Just add water, it says. I never ever get sick of SAS 
books. Those guys are masters of field craft. Um, they survive in every environment on the planet. And it looks like we got ourselves a tracking handbook. Another gem from Battlebox. Thank you guys. This is really cool. Looks like it's got all different types of weather. You can do snow, forest, desert. Real good stuff. And look, they're showing off a guy using his binoculars. I bet they aren't Barska, but I will be using those. Battlebox military and tactical gear. Nice Molly pouch. This is actually something that you can throw on a uh, vest at the range, probably. Looks awesome. Oh, we got some orange tape and some green tape. Some shoot and see tape. You can probably uh, use this stuff for tagging trees that you've been by. Make sure that you Hansel and Gretel your way back. Use those in conjunction with these nice nighttime omnidirectional reflective bits and you can find your way home instead of that evil old witch's candy castle. And finally, I believe this is a medical pouch. Well, first aid kit. But I could be wrong. I am wrong. Some more field stuff. Holy crap, look at all this. Looks like this little kit with a nice compact hard shell case. It's fabric on the outside, hard, probably uh, water resistant. Got a sweet little compass there, a little bomb compass. Looks like some more of that tape for tagging your trees or landmarks. Aha, here we go. A pen light. That must be what my fourth battery is for. You guys are so thoughtful. Look at that. Ooh, buddy, look at that. That is so stinking bright. <laughs> oh my gosh. Looks like it only has one mode. But you could light up your entire camp with that bad boy. And it, it's just tiny. Fits right in the pocket. Or uh, maybe a shirt pocket. Or just leave it in here. Wow. That is an awesome flashlight. So now you got your headlamp and your flashlight just in case. Yeah. It's like... Uh, ooh, measuring tape. Also for maybe sizing up some tracks. It's got a little push button right here in the center. And we have, looks like inches and millimeters. Quick snap back, that is a nice little uh, measuring tape. When you're in a bind, it's always helpful. A little Sharpie. Looks like it uh, has a little keychain cap on it, as well as the actual cap. You can write in your second all-weather notebook for whatever suitable purposes that might be. Maybe you're taking a note on what kind of tracks you saw, what you're finding. Looks like we got ourselves a little mirror here. Not sure if that's your signal mirror or not. Certainly looks like a signal mirror. In case your Hansel Gretel get home quick plan fails, you can signal the nearest aircraft and get out of there. And some flags. Looks like we got some little flags you can mark a track or two and uh, take a few photos. Make sure that you don't forget where they are. And there you go. That is the tracking. Battle box. There is a ton of stuff in the Pro. I am so happy that I got the Pro. I may have to upgrade again. Because <laughs> <Just laughs> a knife of the month club would be really cool. I could start opening each battle box with a new knife.
And there you have it. Here is the entire kit. Again, we have our FireTax uh, Omnidirectional 3D Trail Markers. Um, the Wazoo's Field Tracking Kit with the measuring uh, uh, wristband and bandana. The tracking cards. Uh, we've got our Animal Tracks Casting Kit. This amazing... Nightshade Tactical 520 headlamp with uh, multiple modes, green, red, white, and all white. This is super exciting because green is one of the best spectrums to use uh, at night. You can really avoid your uh, eye fatigue there. Uh, special air service, tracking manual, um, should be a good read. Uh, those guys really know what they're doing. so. That'll be exciting to plow through. Um, we've got our wicked awesome Barska scope binos. Super excited for those. Um, gonna be checking out some of the flora and fauna with that. Um, I did want to mention the batteries um, from Zeus. I know we mentioned that a little earlier. We had that sweet battery pack that was actually part of the um, kit uh, something that was sponsored these Zeus batteries they really put out the power I mean that is fantastic uh, all weather notebooks for marking stuff down nice little sharpie got that kick-ass pen light some flags uh, single mirror compass for when you're lost Measuring tape for um, checking uh, track sizes. We've got these sweet uh, trail markers here. We've also got a green one in this really nice BattleTac Molly gear. Um, you can strap that to your belt or on your vest while you're out marching through the jungle. On a backpack, you've got a tactical backpack, so that's my There you have it.